folks. This is Puck Jam. We've got designs by my friend Luke here and I. And uh, this is our game. So what we have here is a game for people to basically play hockey version of Can Jam. So as you know, Can Jam is played with a Frisbee and then these little kind of contraptions that you got and you're trying to get the Frisbee into the slot for the, uh, the big hole. Now the difference is that we've made it so that we have hockey sticks and hockey pucks. And for all the hockey bros out there, I guess we made our own little modification. Now first things first, we got our tools of the game. Sticks. We need a set of Can Jam. We'd just like to thank Can Jam and uh, Franklin for uh, you know their products. They and then Easton best. Hockey as well for their fine twigs. So we got ourselves a platform. Now all you need is a playing surface. A flat playing surface. Works great off the ground. Like, you know, nothing crazy. This is just a little piece of plywood. We got a can behind. This would be an ideal setup right here. So we got our sticks, we got some beers, and uh, four participants. Now the rules of the game are as follows. Official can distance is 38 feet 2 inches. Games are to 26, you must land directly on 26, if you go over you'll be forced back down to 16. Kind of um, like can uh, the yes. last toss. You go over the points, you go over like the, the set points, then you gotta go back down to another 26 and 16. Teammates are to stand at opposite sides. Um, the play is dead upon initial contact, ground contact with the puck. So if you shoot it and you hit the ground, it's over. No tipping off the ground, nothing like that. Points will be only awarded on good hockey plays. Um, Points will not be awarded uh, for plays such as a distinct kicking motion or deflection off the hands. It's a no-go, folks. Uh, interference penalties will be assessed if you are to go for a tip-in and, and the, the person you're playing against is standing in your way. That's a penalty. Uh, 2015 Rules Committee will come up on the, on the correct... Uh, Next year's Rule Committee will go over the un unforeseen circumstances of this year's games. And the game is over, done, if you slot it. You take a shot and it goes directly through, which he's done numerous times, left-handed and right-handed. Or if it's tipped in, game's over and you get the pump and sniff. Thanks for coming out. Uh, scoring. Entire puck must cross the plane. One point will be awarded if you deflect the puck into the outside of the can. Two points awarded for a direct hit. Now that's a shot from the opposite end. Hits the can in the air, two points. Three points, deflect that bad dog right in the can. Four points, non-deflected entry into can. Sink it. Now, here's where we like to put a little bit of flare on it. We'll do what we call our flare bonus. Decide you want to throw a little sauce in between your legs. Just so happens. an added point on Say you want a one-handed shot, you go flare, boom, except make it in, and guess what? You get an extra point added to it. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say besides that's the game. Yeah, bring a good fucking attitude. Yeah. No Debbie Downers. That's it. Fuck jam.